Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Drill. Today, we are diving into an exciting new feature of GitHub Copilot chat that is custom chat modes. Until now, Copilot chat offered three built-in modes, Ask, Edit and Agent, each designed for a specific type of interaction. But what if you want to go beyond the defaults and create a mode that is tailor-made for your workflow? Now you can do that with the custom modes currently in public preview. Let us see how it works. Custom chat modes let you define how Copilot responds to your prompts, what tools it can access and how it should behave in that context. You can create the custom Copilot mode either using your command palette and ask for chat new mode file. This is how you can create a new chat mode. You can specify that where it needed as it is part of your project itself or user specific. You can have some of the modes user specific where a user can work across multiple projects using the same mode. Or it can be a project specific. You define a mode and commit as part of your repository so that the entire team can use that mode. Select the user mode or the project mode and provide the name for the new mode. I just giving a sample. This is one way of creating. The same file can be created from Copilot chat interface. There is a three dot on top of the chat window which brings this menu where you have different configuration options for configuring prompt files, instructions, tool sets and modes. You can use this configure modes and ask for create a new custom chat mode file. Again select whether you need the chat mode for individual usage or for the project usage. We have already created one chat mode here. Let us go and see how we can define it in a more specific way. Start with the description. You can specify what's a description. For example, it's a personalization of the chat mode. And you can configure the tools. Tools are picked from MCP configuration. Either you have the built-in tools or you can pick the tools from configured MCP server. In our case, I'm going to use some of the built-in tools like edit files, fetch, new, and search. Once you select the tools, click on OK. So the tools will be listed here. After that, you can give a description how this tools needs to be used. I'm defining it as a sample chat mode. Here I have captured some of the instructions for my sample chat mode. Let us try this sample chat mode. Go to your chat or you can relaunch the chat and select the sample that's a chat mode and I'm asking to explain passing one link that is a model context MCP introduction link I have passed let us see how it's use our sample mode and explain using the instructions be specified so it's came with this instructions for understanding better whether it's applied this mode or not, I am going to define another language, explain the details in Hindi. So a different language will differentiate the things and taking the exactly the same thing, I am asking to again explain this one. You can observe that this new sample mode 
is in effect and it start explain the MCP that is fetch is used for fetching this detail and using the last instruction it converted the explanation in Hindi. I have another chat mode defined here that is a requirement refine, refinement of the requirement. If I go into the configuration area, you can see this the chat mode defined. It's mainly for requirement refinement when you have a requirement captured in the issue format. I'm expecting this mode will help me to refine the requirement in better way. Let us try this mode using one of my issue under real estate project. Under real estate we have a requirement captured as development of a landing page with a minimum information. I want to refine this requirement, add the more detailed information. I'm going to use this new custom mode asking to refine giving the issue. It's getting the issue details and start adding more contextual information and based on the instructions it's come up with a detailed explanation in terms of first detailed description we specified we need a issue description and there is an acceptance criteria so it's added an acceptance criteria technical considerations is the next one any potential edge cases or risk and some effort estimation and if any additional notes that's also captured let us go back to the issue still the issue is this way because we specified that first it needs to refine now we can ask to update the issue going to run the edit issue tool to update the issue issue is updated let us go back and check it you can observe that this issue which is badly written with a one statement is now polished and added all the information this custom mode helped me to refine my issues in a different way that steps are specified how it needs to be captured the issues what kind of elements needs to be added in case you have an issue template you can capture that information as well once it's provided either i can go for refinement of these details or i can say directly update the issue instead of creating long prompt or anything i can use this custom mode to quickly complete my activities which is recurring I may need to do refinement of multiple issues so this mode will help me to quickly complete refinement of my issues that is custom modes in github copilot chat a powerful way to tailor your AI assistant for specific tasks and workflows from planning features to reviewing architecture or even enforcing coding guidelines, custom modes give you a precision and control over how Copilot behaves. Try creating a mode that fits your workflow and start working smarter with GitHub Copilot chat. See you in the next one.